Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash over 1AM light. Um, this is version 7.2 uh, it's based on um, Jelly Bean 4.3 so first of all what you want to do is put the ROM on your um, external SD card if you've got it if not you can put it in your internal SD card um, and you want to make sure you make all backups on your um, on your computer so you also want to make sure that you've got a uh, clockwork manager and to enter that you're going to go up um, power and home key and the reason we want clockwork manager is because the um, ROM is installed via this so what you want to make sure is first that you wipe um, your your system you don't have to but I really recommend wiping it what I'm also going to do is wipe my internal SD card now you don't have to do this um, however, I do it because I like to have a nice clean internal SD card. So as you can see, I'm going to be flashing from an external SD card. And as you can see, I've got 1AM light right there. It's as simple as clicking and installing and just letting it run to install. So I'm going to, do, I'm going to let it run and uh, get back to you guys uh, once this is installed. So the ROM is finished installing, so I'm going to go back and reboot now. You don't have to fix root over here, uh, one of them does specify you don't have to do it, but um, I, I did it last time so I'm going to do it this time as well. You don't have to do it um, simply because it's already rooted and um, you will get SU um, over there included in the ROM. So it's finished installation so we're going to go through um, the installation process. So we've booted up and finished installation so now I can go into settings and show you that I'm on Android 4.3 indeed. One thing I do suggest is to go and uh, select your CSE. Um, it doesn't make that much of a difference and most of the time most CSEs will do just fine. But There's some people which reported problems uh, with certain CSEs on Android 4.3 and we get a nice huge selection of CSEs on when I'm light. So what I'm going to do is go into the market and download CSC selector. So as you can see if you put CSC select you come up with this app and you want to install this app. What I'm going to do is also check for super user right now. As you can see we've got super user permission. We can go into this app, the CSC select app. Do it with root mode and now you've got a huge selection of CSCs. The one I su uh, suggest is BTU and that's the one I'm going to install. Now the reason why I do this first is first of all to avoid problems uh, in terms of network and whatnot and secondly because when you install this as you can see my phone is frozen is rebooting it fully wipes your phone so if you're going to customize your phone the first thing you should do is do your CSC and then go on from there so as you can see it's going to wipe the phone and you'll see it reboot. Again, we didn't need that, so this time when I press no, you, you'll be able to see that I still have SU. So, it's going to reboot, this time with a BTU CSE, but it's going to be fully wiped. And um, this will allow us to be on the uh, right network settings and right APN settings if needs be. Um, as I said, CSC is not that important for a lot of people, but it can cause some problems. So I do suggest changing it, seeing as it's very easy to change. You only lose about five minutes, and that's about it. Hey guys, so I'm back, and I've customized uh, my phone the way I like it. I've um, changed the wallpaper and uh, put up all my apps with titanium backup and customized um, the ROM itself. This is really cool because 1M has this uh, app called 1M Exposed and I highly suggest you get it. So first of all what you're going to have to do is go on the XDA thread, I'll link down a direct uh, download to it, but you need to get Exposed Installer. Exposed Installer will look like this and once you get Exposed Installer you want to go to Framework and you want to hit Install and Update so you can see the active and the bundled should be the same. Once you do that it will reboot and then you can go into the market and look for 1AM Exposed. This is a brilliant app because basically I can customize anything I want over here. 
for example, on the notification panel, I've customized to hiding the actual battery icon and I've got the display as percentage only. I've put the center clock and I've got, for example, a four-way reboot. So I've got different options that I've chosen um, and even I've got totally dubbed as my carrier, which is not bad. Uh, <laughs> so you can go ahead and customize customize it the way you want and for example if you make a change it will come up with a little notification saying please apply um, changes and then you just hit reboot you can hit the fast reboot if you want but I just suggest a reboot so you do a reboot and it's going to reboot into the ROM again and apply the changes that you did bear in mind some of them might not work uh, because it's Android 4.3 with that said every single option I chose worked perfectly fine so I have no um, I would have no doubts of it not working, let's put it that way. So anyway, it just takes a little while to reboot usually and just takes a little while to start up. But apart from that, the ROM looks very good. I can't comment on battery life or performance right now, but, but it just seems like Android 4.3 but a bit more refined. Um, something that I had I was missing was the um, shortcut buttons on the lock screen and now they seem to be back there. There seems to be also uh, that customization which is there with the one I'm exposed is really good because it allows you to customize your phone a little bit more than you're normally used to. So overall absolutely brilliant ROM so far. I can't comment on battery life as I said and it is running on stock kernel and there are stock um, custom kernels coming out now because the 4.3 um, kernel codes were released by Samsung so now developers can um, now develop on kernels which makes it great because with the stock kernel always seem to have problems so now we're gonna have some custom kernels out there so I've restored everything seem quite happy with it the installation process was really easy um, the speed so far seems good the customization of the ROM seems very very good and very simple to use and very intuitive and overall I think it's a it seems like a brilliant ROM so I will uh, let you know my thoughts um, in the description below uh, after maybe a week or so but uh, so far so good and definite improvement over the um, stock leaked um, 4.3 uh, Android uh, ROM which was released by Samsung alright guys Hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know your thoughts and um, uh, and comments below. And please do remember to subscribe if you haven't already and do like this video uh, as it always helps. Alright guys, totally dubbed out. Take care. Bye bye.